they get a really bad rap, but nearly a quarter of all Americans are part of one. And those that are actually seem to like them. I'm talking about HOAs. HOA stands for Homeowners Association, and there are over 350,000 of them in the U.S. And before buying a property that's part of the HOA, you should really do your homework to make sure it's the right long-term decision for you. Let's talk about a few pros and cons you should absolutely consider. Let's start with the pros. Pro number one is that your neighborhood will probably look better because of the HOA. An HOA primary's function is to keep a community to a particular standard to protect property values. And because of this, they create and enforce rules about things like lawn standards, paint colors, and other property maintenance and upgrades decisions you may make. The result is usually a clean and uniform look to your neighborhood. Another pro is the amenities that may come along with your HOA. Things like pools, trails, and other shared spaces can be included in your agreement. These are exclusive to your HOA and are not available to any members of the general public. Along with those standard shared amenities, you may also be able to have shared maintenance costs. Not only will those shared spaces be maintained by the HOA, but some or all of the lawn care may be as well. In a lot of people's eyes, this is one of the main benefits of being a part of an HOA. As you can imagine, not having to worry about maintaining beautiful landscaping can be a huge relief for homeowners. Okay, now let's talk about some of the cons. The biggest con being the dues. The money it takes to take care of all those beautiful spaces and amenities has to come from somewhere, and that somewhere is out of your pocket. By entering into an HOA agreement, you'll be legally responsible for yearly dues that keep the HOA, HOA running. The amount of those dues will depend on the amenities and general scope of your HOA. Another con is the lack of freedom that comes along with the HOA. Do you want to paint your door red? Nope. How about adding a Four Seasons room? Maybe not. Get it clear with your HOA board. Miss cutting your lawn last week because you were out of town? That could be a fine. You are certainly not free to do whatever you like on or to your property, and that can rub some people the wrong way. And finally, the last con is the potential politics that come into play. If you happen to cross a particular neighborhood or HOA board member the wrong way, that person might have the ability to make your life really difficult. By calling out or enforcing obscure rules, pettiness can be a tool for revenge, and the HOA becomes the vehicle. Is the paint on your mailbox chipping? Is your grass an inch too long? Did you leave your trash out for an extra 30 minutes last Friday? Any vengeful neighbor or board member could potentially cite you for these infractions if they've got beef. Legal challenges are not uncommon in these instances. However, having said all that, the majority of people who belong to an HOA consider it a positive experience and over 90% of people have a good relationship with HOA board members. As with most things, the devil is in the details. So make sure you read the fine print several times so you know exactly what you need to expect from your HOA. I'm Ruby Miranda, the Texas Queen of Real Estate.